now for an exclusive interview is Afria CEO Erwin Simon. Welcome back to the show, Erwin. Good to have you. Good to be here, Sarah. So, so what happened? A quarterly loss and, and a big miss on, on numbers. I know you blamed the, the lockdowns in Canada, but wasn't the at-home economy supposed to be good for cannabis? So, so number one, it wasn't a big miss. You know, we did $152 million in sales. Uh, 12.8 million of EBITDA, and I think that was close to analyst expectations. But step back for a second in the Canadian market, Ontario, which is the biggest province, represents 35 percent. The stores in Canada have been closed really since December, January. And the only way you could order cannabis was either online or you had to go to a store and stand in line and, and you know, put your order in. So, you know, with that, there was a lockdown in three of the provinces, which represent 85 percent of the population of Canada. Uh, Germany, which is a big market for us in regards to our CC Pharma, um, and a lot of the borders were closed in regards to us, you know, going out and purchasing medicines and distribution to drugstores. Again, with, with COVID, um, you know, in regards to foot traffic and that. So, Listen, I, I, I come back and say all in all with hitting the markets that we're in today and with COVID, you know, reacting the way it did. You know, we had a great quarter. We went in and put in place a lot of cost reduction. Um, we were cash flow positive. You know, our loss was contributed to amortization and um, the way our stock compensation is. So all in all, you know, dealing with what we had to deal with. You know, we turned out to be an okay quarter. What about, in my price, opinion, what, what about prices? Because that that was another a point that seemed to to hurt the business, and that is lower prices for cannabis. Is that a, is that a trend? Listen, I think what happened there, you know, impulse purchasing as you pull up to a store, and what we saw also, it's interesting too, because consumers were not purchasing online, and the only way you can mostly purchase online in Canada is through one of the liquor control boards, and I guess. Consumers don't want to give their credit card or are still concerned with purchasing cannabis online. In regards to, you know, going to the stores, you know, you could do that. You couldn't introduce new products. So I think what retailers try to do in some of the cannabis stores is to drop the prices. And that's the way they felt they would get, you know, customers coming to the stores. Um, I don't expect that to continue. Our premium broken coastline is something that we've seen maintain price. And, you know, I think as we expand our product line, innovate products, come out with edibles and drinks and, you know, other strains, I think, you know, you'll see pricing absolutely increase and I, you'll see, you know, um, margins maintain itself. Owen, uh, uh, the, the Tilray, Tilray acquisition aside, you mentioned wanting to, to, to potentially look at some, some more M&A. What exactly do you have in mind there? Is, is that sort of bolt-on acquisitions in Canada or, or something more akin to the, the Sweetwater acquisition? So, Wilfred, stepping back, listen, I think we grow our market share in Canada. We expand our product line into multiple categories. We expand into drinks with more and more stores opening. We got a great size business in the cannabis business in Canada. In Europe, with medical cannabis expanding in different countries, whether it's France, whether it's the UK, whether it's Spain, Portugal, Germany, et cetera, we got a great size business, you know, in Europe to grow our business, both in medical and the opportunity for recreational. In regards to the U.S. market, listen, we're seeing some great results coming out of Sweetwater. In regards to Tilray, they own a company called Manitoba Harvest with CBD and hemp-based products in the food category. You know, not knowing when legalization happens in the U.S., I want to continue to acquire certain businesses like a Sweetwater or like a Manitoba Harvest that can parlay into the cannabis world once legalization happens with great margins, great growth, and great distribution for us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.